Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Dr. Toy where today I'll be showing you some customs that either I made or I bought off eBay. Now the first three customs use this body primarily, like just this body, um, and I'm showing you them now. Um, so first one is, right, basically the story is I had a 10th Doctor in space suit but the head popped off, so I decided, since I was getting the time of the Doctor set pretty soon, I think you know where this is going, to do something like this. Yeah, okay, the 11th Doctor wasn't wearing the harness in Hyde, but to be honest, what can you do? What can you do? Anyway, so, uh... That's him. Um, just focus, please, please. Okay, it's not focusing very well, but you can see that's him. Please, Foker! Forget it. You can tell that's him. And, uh, since, uh, that is able to go on there and stays on pretty nicely. Oh, hang on. There we go. Since that stays on there pretty nicely, I can literally go and add Peter Capaldi's head. The trouble with this one is his head is made in a different way, so his stays on a little less better, but uh, yeah, he still looks quite nice, the spacesuit on, and I might do like my adventures with him wearing this, might, and uh, don't forget my Peter Capaldi voice in the last video, yes, the Peter Capaldi voice, check out the last video if you haven't seen it already. It would really help me a lot. And now the final one is probably my favourite one. And I bet you guys will laugh. Right, so guys, do you remember the Doctor Who Adventure Games, Blood of the Cybermen? Well, the Cybermen weren't in it that much and they had these cyber slave things. Well, I've made a sort of like modern version of one of them. Sort of. <laughs> oh my god. I got... I got really bored and I was like, oh my god, what, what what can I do if I do this? And, you know, it's a five inch Cyberman now, you know, it works well. And I think it looks pretty good. Look at it, it's, it's so fucking funny. Handles, that's just handles. So all the figures I've shown you for the first part can actually be made using um, the Time of the Doctor set and the uh, Doctor from the Satan Pit and all that. Um, so, yeah. Oh my god. Comments down below if you love this or if you love this. And, you know, the head's still, like, removable. The wire's just sitting there. Not very well, to be honest. Um, if you want, if you're doing this custom, you can actually cut the wires off. But I, no one's really had this idea before. And they were like, well, it's handles, just use it as handles. But no one's like, hmm... I wonder if we can put, like, him on another body to make him a cyber slave. No one's had that idea, mainly because the cyber slaves weren't actually that popular. Or at least, were in, like, the adventure games, so weren't that well known or whatever. But, you know, it's not, like, a totally original idea, and I think it works pretty well. Especially with this, with the orange spacesuit, it looks quite cool. And the wires are not going back in. Straighten, straightening them, get in, get in, get in, and it's back on. This is really ridiculous but pretty funny at the same time. So, now the next customs I'm going to show you are some more Dalek customs. Okay, so this one is technically not my Dalek custom. It's one I bought off eBay, but only this pit at the front was actually painted black and red. The rest of it was the grey, so I had to colour that in with marker pen, which doesn't actually look too terribly good, to be honest. This bit looks alright, but the rest of it's a bit naff. I might go over it with paint in the future. But this is it. It's like got a black dome, it's got a red bit at the bottom, and red all over. 
I like the design to be honest. That's why it was only for like nine pounds, which is pretty good. And you know, dialog articulation, so I don't need to go through that. Now this dish at the back, although the smaller base, just saying. And yeah, the only flaw I could find with it really was that this bit wasn't done, but I did it in, and now it looks pretty good. So that that's pretty good, and you know, withstands withstands the Dalek articulation. So yeah, that's that, and I'm on to the final objects. So to round it all off, I will be showing you these, which are some later issues of my um. Broken Dalek collection. So yeah, it's no secret that I broke a lot of my Daleks when I was younger. Um, none of them survived, to be honest. It was a massacre. But I found a way of making them still eligible to be in my collection. Making them destroyed ones. For example, if you remember, I showed you with Rusty this one, which was just completely destroyed. You could tell it was completely destroyed. Um, but these ones, I didn't do so much to them. So let's start off with this one. Basically, I just went really crazy with a marker pen. I just put loads of red markers marks on there, and I actually used a screwdriver to make some scratches as well, like one or two there. And I used the same screwdriver to make a crack right there. I just put it in a little gap where the head like turns, um, and I smashed it and made the crack. And of course, the lights were damaged when you know broke it and all that. And I think this was actually one of the Colt Scarrow. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, it is. So that was that. Now this one. This one was one of the RC Daleks. As you can see, it's still sort of got something on it. And I went crazy with the marker pen once again. And the screwdriver scratched out some bits there. Uh, and the ears are damaged and all that. I just think these aren't too terribly brilliant customs, but um, I just do them to be honest so that I can keep these Daleks in my collection and it will help for my secrets of the Dalek Asylum series, which will be coming back when I have some spare time to do it, alright? And this one has like, it's got like paint scratched out on it when it got destroyed, so you know that helped. And it's got the, not, the red isn't as noticeable. And I would have used black, but I didn't have any, so the red was just like symbolising blood or whatnot. I think there were a few marks on the dome. And... Yeah, that. So, that are all the cus that's all the customs that I have either owned or made or whatnot um, since the last vid video. Oh my Jesus, I still can't get over how funny this this guy looks right here. My cyber slave. Bit of an original idea, so you know, you can't really fault me for it. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and a like and all that. Comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in my next custom video. I've no idea when that's going to be, because I have no idea what custom to make next. That's simple and easy to do and all that. So I'll see you guys next time.